everybody, this is Beth from Technique Tuesday. Today I would like to share some tips and techniques for using the Build a Bird House dies. And I've been having a ton of fun playing with these new dies, so I've got a lot of tips to share. Let's get started. Now my first tip is that I recommend you don't cut apart these dies. So they come connected like this, and I recommend that you just leave them connected like that so that you don't lose these little pieces and because it's so much fun to just cut out a whole pile of different colors and then have them laying around so that you can mix and match and come up with different projects. So like the first time I was using these dies I cut them out in reds, blues, greens and I think a little bit of orange maybe too and just use oh and, and the taupe color and then I was able to make all of these birdhouses just from that first batch of die cut pieces. Now what we do around the office is we make an envelope like this, we keep the dies inside of it, and then we just sweep all those little pieces together so it makes it really easy when someone needs to put together a quick card to just grab some of those pre-cut pieces and make their project. Now the next step is to pick out the pieces that you're going to use for a particular project. And here I'm using felt uh, for the birdhouse itself, and then thin chipboard that I've cut out the, uh, the roof and the perch on. And now if you're just using paper, I did recommend that you adhere it with something like this quickie glue pen, so it just lets you put a little bit of glue, a little bit of adhesive right where you need it on your paper. But it, with it's something like this material, I recommend a stronger glue like this on-point glue. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. One that I do regularly but takes some more time is I actually flip over the birdhouse and then go ahead and bring the put the adhesive on the perch and on the roof and then bring the birdhouse to it and adhere it like that. Problem with that is you have to leave it set for a while. So, but it lets you really center it. So like if I were doing this with the roof, I would put the adhesive on the roof and then lay this on here and just let it dry in place like that. But because I don't have time to do all that in the video, I'm gonna show you the other way to do this, which is to just say, I'm going to add the adhesive right onto the felt, okay, and lay this piece right on top of it, like that, okay, I can move it around just a little bit to make sure it's where I need it to be, and then I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of adhesive onto that felt up there on top, it soaks right in, and then add the top. So that's the trick for adhering, is to do it just on the edges. See, it is not dry yet, so I gotta wait to move it, but it'll look something like that. So either the quickie glue pen for paper, or the on-point glue with its when it's more porous surfaces like this one. Now, once you've got your pieces together like this, you have another decision you need to make, and that is, are you willing to have the hole just be open like this, or do you want it to have something dark behind it so that it looks like it's in the shadows? And I prefer to have the shadowy look, so here's how I do that. Instead of trying to go find the little hole and fill that in with the, the actual circle that was cut out, instead I go get a piece of dark cardstock, this is just plain black cardstock, and I adhere it right there on the back. And what's cool about that Actually, let me use the glue pen this time around. What's cool about that is that it lets it look like it's shadowy and dark back there, but also because it's on the back of the burger house, it looks even more like it's got a little bit of dimension to it, like you're really going inside of that birdhouse um, in some ways. So that's a quick and easy way to get that dark shadowy look in that hole that goes into your birdhouse. Now, the regular size birdhouses are like this, if you just cut them out and use them as is. But here's another cool technique, and that is to just cut off a little piece of the birdhouse to make it smaller. So whether you're using the three-hole birdhouse, like that one, and cutting it down to be a two-hole, or whether you want to take and just make one of these regular size birdhouse, so that's the regular size birdhouse, we've designed that perch so that it will slide up or down and fit on smaller ones too. So you can make these birdhouses be whatever size you need to fit your project. Now my last tip is to go ahead and cut out some white pieces too. And that's how we made these that look like they have wood, wood grain. So I learned this tip from Tam, which is you just take a micron pen or some fine tip pen like this, and you start out and you just go and draw sort of organically and then you do a swirl like that. And then the next one you go and you 
color around there. Just move around that knot that you made. And you just keep sort of doing that over and over again until you end up with pieces that look kind of like these. So, and then once you've got your wood grain background, you can also do really cool things with your roof. So on this roof, what Tam did is she took her Copic markers, I, I hope you guys can see this, and she used two different shades of red. So it really looks like it's like that variegated, or that um, a metal roof with those different steps in it um, to make the roof on that wood grain patterned birdhouse. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the different ways that you can use these build a birdhouse dies. Here's an example about how you might use them to make something for your scrapbook page. This is also could be used for a scrapbook page or it could be used to make something like a gift tag for somebody that's establishing a new home. And then of course you can use them to make cards like these. Thanks so much for watching.